Hey YouTube, what's up? And welcome back to another installment of Collecticon Tour Review, where we show you guys some of the hottest action figures out there of today and yesteryears. Well, today, guys, we're going to be talking about Cobra Commander from the Pursuit of Cobra line presented by Hasbro. Now, if you guys will check out all of these accessories, you'll realize this is the only reason that I bought this figure. I have a ton of Cobra Commanders. You guys have a ton of Cobra Commanders. We're Cobra Commandered out. Even though this is a nice figure, even though he's beautiful, even though he looks like he's been ripped right from the pages of the comic book or the animated movie, he's still Cobra Commander. But he comes with a lot of accessories that make this figure worth every penny. Let's talk about it. He comes with the secret elements. Look at that, guys. Straight from the cartoon, the secret element. And if you'll see right here, you flip this over real quick. These elements actually come out of its plastic encasement. Love it. Love it. Good stuff. Then we'll come over here. He has the Compound C radioactive isotope straight from the cartoon. Uh, not very colorful. I would have liked to have seen this in a, like, kind of a transparent canister or something with a little bit of pink showing or whatever, but, you know, kind of a glow to it. But I may do some painting to it and, and add that sort of effect. But that looks really, really cool. Then we have the snake dagger, the snake baton, the electromagnetic laser pistol, used in the cartoon a number of times. I don't know how many times I've seen that. And then also the gravity bomb that was used in the animated movie. Now that was cool because that was a very iconic shot, guys. If you haven't seen that movie for some of our younger viewers, that's when Cobra Commander flies up with a jetpack, hits the Statue of Liberty, uh, plants the bomb, and then flies off. Really good stuff, very iconic scene. Uh, just great heroic stuff, even though it was the bad guys doing it. It was, a, it was something that was etched in my memory since a kid, guys. But good stuff. Uh, let's talk about the overall figure uh, real quick. Well, there's some more accessories that we see. He has the saber sword there, or the cutlass, as well as the staff here. The coiled cobra head staff, man. Good stuff. Comes with a removable cape. Let's see. Makes him look very regal. Indeed. Has like a little gold chain kind of holding it together there. The overall figure, he's wearing a pea coat. So if you want to throw him in an Arctic scene, it's perfect for that. Really, really cool stuff. He's got on some very menacing looking gloves there, as well as some black slacks with what appears to be, real quick guys, let me show you. It looks like he's wearing dress shoes. That's really cool instead of combat boots. I like that. Almost like some Stacy Adams on him. <laughs> I love it. And then, look at the back of the figure. He has some fasteners there on the bottom of his pea coat. The standard chrome face there. The silver streak going along the helmet. Really good tooling on this figure, guys. I'm very pleased with the sculpt. Great figure. Massive amount of accessories. Who could ask for anything more? from the boys down at Hasbro. They nailed it with this Cobra Commander from the line. It looks like they're really, really getting inside of the overall characters and the essence of the characters and trying to give us something that's gonna make us reach into our pockets, man, and just you know, pay our hard-earned money for these things. And I'm, you know, there was a time where Hasbro had released figures and I was having a hard time shelling out the money for them because it was like, okay, these are characters that I want, but they're just not, capturing the essence of what I, you know, used to see in the cartoon or the comic books. Now, they're hitting them out the ballpark, in my personal opinion. I'm digging it. I'm loving it. I mean, these things look absolutely amazing in all of your detolf or, you know, dresser top setups that you guys are doing, tabletop, whatever you guys are doing out there. They look really good in ACBA. They look really good in uh, collection displays or dioramas. So, Get them, man. Pick them up. Definitely pick up the Cobra Commander. He's worth having. Love it, love it, love it. Real quick, because I normally don't do this, but let's talk about the package art for those of you who are familiar with these figures. It looks like this. You've got the standard G.I. Joe logo for this type of uh, figure line. 
for the Pursuit of Cobra figure line. So there you go. This is G.I. Joe there. On the side it will tell you who it is, Cobra Commander, and what their job is. He's the Cobra leader. On the back it will show you, you know, the mission statement for G.I. Joe and for the Cobra Forces as well. If you want to read that, you can pause this part uh, portion right now. Same thing here. And then it'll give you the character bio, what their MOS is and their uh, military specialty is. So if you want to read this, feel free to pause. And like I said, guys, really good stuff. Love this figure. It was a must have, even though I, like I said, I almost passed it up. But now he's, he's here, he's in my collection and he looks good and I'm loving it. And I can't wait to do something really cool in uh, an ACBA format for this. If you guys aren't familiar with ACBA, it's articulated comic book art founded by one Book Nice 10. For you G.I. Joe fans, go check it out, get involved. There's guys that are doing stuff with Transformers, and there's guys that are doing things with G.I. Joe and Star Wars and Marvel Universe, Marvel Legends, and Predator figures and Gears of War. Go check it out. That's Boog Nice 10. Check his channel out. Check out the King Beastman 82's channel where a lot of guys compete there in the battle show doing ACBA display making and diorama building. Check that out. And also, definitely, if this is your first time, check out Collecticon. Subscribe to all of those people and search out many more. You can reach other people that are really good at this through us. So that's it, guys. There's my review. There's Cobra Commander. Here's the setup. Duke's been captured again. And until next time, keep collecting, start painting, and get this figure. I did.